Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you all how to make air dry clay and you can also just use this as regular air dry clay but for me I just like to use this to make butter slime and I know um, butter slime is kind of old now but I still like playing with butter slime so yeah anyways so you can use this um, air dry clay for just like regular air dry clay purposes or um, butter slime. But anyways let's just get started with the ingredients. Alright, so first you'll need something to mix in and something to mix with. Some cornstarch. And lastly, some hair conditioner. By the way, the thing that you're using to mix with should be a spoon, or you could also just use like a measuring thing. Yeah. But anyways, let's get started. So first, you're going to start off with emptying four tablespoons of um, cornstarch. And so the ratio to cornstarch to um, hair conditioner is basically four to two or um, two to one. All right, so just, just gonna put in four tablespoons of cornstarch. And you could also use like teaspoons or cups or something, um, depending on how much you want. Next, you're going to take your conditioner and add two tablespoons. There, so. And one. And two. Oh, uh, I suck at this, but there you go. Then now you can just mix it up. Alright, so let's just mix it up. I'm sorry that, like, all my ingredients are white and my bowl is white, so. Maybe a little bit hard to see. And if you can, if you see it's a bit too um, powdery, I guess, and dry, you can go ahead and add more conditioner. But if it's too liquidy, then you could add more cornstarch. So right now it's way too dry, so I'm gonna add some conditioner. By the way, this can get a bit messy because you will have to use your hands at one point. So be, be prepared to do that. So as you can see, it's starting to sort of clump up together a bit. And this is definitely not like slime. Um, it will be like this. It's kind of like powdery still and it won't... Yeah, it's not slime, obviously. So just go ahead and keep on mixing it until it's the perfect consistency, like this. It's not too lookity, but it's not too dry. So it seems like you can hold it. And you could add a bit more cornstarch if it's like this, if you want. All right, so this is a pretty good consistency. It's not too liquidy. It is a bit more on the dry side, but as long as you can hold it, it's pretty good. So this part may get a bit messy. You're just gonna try to pick it up and start kneading it with your hands. And I'm first I'm just gonna mix it more into that cornstarch because I added a bit too much. And then I'll be right back with you guys once I start to hold it. All right guys, so now I can start to try and pick up the air dry clay. As you can see, it's very messy and a clumpy. But try to sort of knead it with your hands. It's a really weird feeling. <laughs> so just keep on kneading it like so. And you could also like sort of play with it kind of like slime. Just squish it. Make sure you have sort of like a placement mat under um, where your bowl is or your um, place that you're mixing it in because it's gonna get quite messy. But as you can see it's starting to sort of turn into air dry clay already. It's pretty cool. You can also collect all the other P 
pieces. And once again, cornstarch makes it less um, liquidy, while uh, conditioner makes it less powdery, I guess you can say, or crumbly. Mine's a bit liquidy, but it's okay. So I'm gonna scoop some off my spoon and just try to get the other little pieces. Sorry if you hear any background noises, that's my mom talking on the phone. So. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit more cornstarch. Oops. All right, so after kneading it a bit more, here's the finished product. It's not really focusing at this point. Uh, come on. But it's very, very smooth and matte. Perfect for butter slime. And once again, mine is on the liquidy side. So um, you can obviously change it to fit your consistency needs or style. I don't, I don't know. But it's, it's great. I really like it. And so um, you can just now add this to slime. And make sure the slime is about the same um, size as your air dry clay. And yeah, that'll make butter slime. So I'm just gonna quickly get some slime and mix it with this. All right, so I just quickly made a little batch of slime. So here is, and by the way, yes, I did use borax because um, I was too lazy to get some contact solution and baking soda. Um, but obviously you don't have to um, use borax but here it is and now you can just add in like that and uh, make sure you do have your solution nearby because this will get pretty sticky but so let me just get a spoon and just like can just fold it in I guess you can say and you can color your slime in but I'm just gonna leave it white and just like mix it up. And I'll just meet you guys back when it's all mixed up. And yes, it will become a bit sticky like so. All right, so here it is, as you can see, kind of turned into a bit of like sort of liquid -y, but that's supposed to happen. And so now you're just gonna add in some of your um, solution. So I'm just gonna add like, pour into my cap and just like pour it in and just mix it up till it turns back into a slime so yeah just keep doing this and um, there will be a couple lumps which is fine because once you start playing with it I'll just go away so I'm just gonna keep adding some more caps I guess <laughs> of borax But yeah, so just keep on doing this. All right, so it's about done. I'm just, just gonna give it the final sort of mix. All right, so as you can see, it just collected all the stuff, all the sides of all most of the stuff. And it's sticking on the spoon now because there's some stuff on the spoon. But basically, here's your slime. It's, it's butter slime. <laughs> And you could also use my um, how to make slime without glue video recipe to make butter slime without glue. Like completely out of glue because the air dry clay didn't need glue either. So I'm just going to try to shake it out. Just go like that. And let me just move it to the side. So basically here is your butter slime. It's your regular butter slime. And yeah, it's really cool, and it's like firm, and basically holds its shape. I don't have a knife right now, so I'm just gonna use my fingers. <laughs> but yeah, it spreads just like butter, or like butter knife, I mean butter slime. So, 
yeah. And you could um, add some more glue, I mean some more slime, if it's a bit too firm, because I didn't have a lot of glue. I think I had more air dry clay than glue. It's really awesome because it's really, really soft and matte. But it's, it's really confusing too because like you could just poke it like regular slime and just leave it there. But once you start stretching it, it's like air dry clay. So it's, it's really cool. I really like it. It's like such a weird consistency because it's stretchy and like slime, but it's like hard, like air dry clay. I don't know. It's really weird. So like, you can see how matte it is. They can make it even more matte with more air dry clay. But yeah, so that's your butter slime. It was really simple to make. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that slimy like button and that slimy subscribe button. Um, and comment down below any video suggestions. I will be making glossy slime soon because someone requested it and it's pretty simple to make. But yes, focus. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. Bye.